Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! I would start with a bit of pirate trivia, starting with the eye patch. Do you know why they wear eye patches? Not because they lost an eye, but because it was so sunny on deck. They wore an eye patch to keep one eye used to the dark, so that when they went below deck and it was dark, they could lift their eye patch and it would be used to seeing in the dark. Pretty cool trick. I think so. All right, let's get on to our art project. So we started last week with drawing a self-portrait using shapes, right? We used an oval for the head, we used a rectangles for the body and the legs and the arms, we used ovals for the feet and circles for the hands. This week we're going to add our background. So Monday's video, I showed you a video of a pirate ship and I also included a slideshow presentation with some pictures from a pirate ship. So we're going to go ahead and add our background to make a complete picture. All right, let's get started. A Sharpie or a black marker, and then something to color your background, either colored pencils or crayons, whatever you used last week. If you used markers last week, that's okay. I think I used colored pencils last week. I'm going to use those again this week. So we talked about the elements of art, and we talked about shape, how we were using the shapes like circle, square, rectangle, oval, in order to draw our person. So we looked at some of our people, and we looked at a person here that was drawn with lines. And we said that we didn't want lines this week because when we look at our actual body part, there are two lines that make up the actual shape of each of our body parts. So if I look at my arm, I can see that there's one side and there's two sides. We want to draw both lines to show the thickness of each body part. So we drew a rectangle for the body, rectangle for the legs and arms, we drew a circle for the hands, and we drew ovals for the shape. So this is our drawing with a or our drawing of a body with shapes. Then we added some details to our drawing. We added some clothes, maybe an eye patch, um, maybe you added some accessories. And this week we are going to add our background. So on Monday I posted those videos, um, or that video and the slideshow of different parts of the pirate ship so you can take a look at it. You can see I've added a wood floor here, the side of the boat, some rope, I have my periscope, my parrot, um, sunshine. So we're going to add the rest of those details today. All right, let's get started. All right, using our pencil, we're going to go ahead and start drawing, and then we'll trace those lines with the marker and add our color. So you can add any details that you want to your ship. We might want to add the sides of the boat. So we'll draw that line here. And we're definitely going to want to add a floor because we don't want our pirate just floating around. Now I like to add those floorboards that make it look like the deck of a ship. So I'm just going to add some lines here. And then to make it look like wood floor, I'm just going to add some lines that go the opposite direction. And you can add a nail if you want. Now up here you could add ropes. We saw some stairs. We saw a mast that came up on some of them. So if you wanted to draw a big mast, that mast was that big pole that came up. We could draw that. And then I could erase these cross lines because we wouldn't see the floor through the mast, nor would we see the wall. And maybe this mast has ropes coming down. Um, we might have that sort of ladder effect on the side. I'm going to draw some rectangles here to make it look like 
Our ladder is made out of wood. The pencil lead is running out. Okay, I could make my wood panels come down the side here too if I want to make that look like it's in some smaller chunks. If I wanted to add rope like I did in my sample, I could go ahead and do that. Raise that extra. And my rope had two sides to it because it's not really a line. And I'm going to make it go behind the mast so we don't see it going through. Now if we want to make it look like rope, we'll just add some diagonal lines to it. Alright, from here you're just going to add your colors. Make sure that if you want to, you could add water behind. You're going to add a sky and we are going to go ahead and color it all the way in. So you can see I added the walls of my ship, those floorboards, I put some waves in the background, I have my yellow sky with my sunshine. Notice that it's not in the corner because sunshines aren't in the corner. They're usually floating somewhere else in the sky. I added a parrot. You can if you want, you don't have to. If you want to add something else to your ship, there were um, those mast lines. You could add a sail if you wanted. We could see part of the sail here. You can add any details you want, but we need to use up the entire page so the whole thing is colored. I can't wait to see what you do. When you're done, take a picture of it and then you're going to go back into this assignment and on the right hand side there will be a button that says submit and you can click that. I'm also going to post a video that shows how to submit um, a video or how to submit your assignments and I'm going to put that under teacher and class information so that um, that should make it a little bit easier for you as well. If you have any questions send me a message in Schoology or um, your parents can send me an email through my school email. Have fun!